Today's piece took me 12 years to do. 12 whole years, man. All right, look, it, <laughs> I may not have been working on the piece for 12 years, but we're doing our 100,000 subscriber special. And alongside the 100,000 subscriber special, I also want to focus on teaching you guys a little bit about achieving a convincing illusion in graffiti. Now, granted, you can do this in for any art form. It's not specific to graffiti by any means, but we'll get more into that later in the video. Now, during this piece, you know, I, I had I had a lapse of sense, a lapse of of judgment, if you will, because I looked at the wall and I was like, you know, how would how would how could I make this wall a lot more difficult than what it needs to be? Oh, I know. Let me go ahead and try to do the process that everyone else follows that I already know I, I'm not a fan of. Now, it's not to say that the process is wrong. It's just everybody has their own personal preference, right? So a lot of graffiti artists, they go ahead and they do their fill in, they do their three. D, then they do their outline, you know, so on and so forth. I decided to do it more along that way, which as you know, if you've been a viewer here on the channel for a while, you know, I like to start with the things in the back and work my way forward. Meaning I do the exterior details. I do the 3D, then the fill in, then the outline. And boy, let me tell you, man, I tried to mix up my process here and it caused me to have to go ahead and do a lot of cleaning up just simply because I wasn't used to the process. I had to go ahead and paint the exterior detail all over again in order to go ahead and clean up some of the edges from the 3D overlapping. I had to go ahead and paint the fill-in God knows how many times because the 3D was painted after the fact and it, it was just a lot of cleaning up. So for any of you guys who feel like you have that same issue where you find yourself doing a lot of cleaning up on your pieces, then try out the method that I normally do where we start with the exterior detail. In this case, that'll be the white band. And then you go to the 3D and you go ahead and do all the shading for that as well, right? And then from there, you knock out the fill-in. And once that's all knocked away, then you can go ahead and do your outline. Different things work for different people. This isn't the by far like the best way to do it or anything. It's just how I enjoy doing it. Also, a real big intention with this piece was I wanted more crinkles, right? I really enjoy the sticker effect. The sticker effect is something that, that I just find not only really fun and easy to do, but really effective. So how do we make that more effective? Well, you add more texture, you add more form, and this means we need to add more value. So in the parts that actually fold over the piece, I'll be honest, I actually forgot one of the folds. That's no big deal, because we already have a prime number amount of folds on the image, which is great, because prime numbers help for balance. It helps things weigh out properly. That way things look cohesive. So it might have actually been better in the long run that I ended up forgetting. But something that we need a lot of is a lot of crinkles. In the Fusi black and white challenge for the secret rider wall, I didn't have access to a lot of values. So I implemented some little tiny creases that were very difficult to see in the final image. This has been something that we played around with with each subsequent sticker effect. And this one I wanted to make it a really, really pivotal part of the piece as a whole. I wanted to really demonstrate demonstrate those crinkles and make that more so a focal point. But this meant a couple of things. We, we had to sell the illusion. So to pull this off, what exactly is happening here as far as the fundamentals are concerned? Well, in order to actually create the wrinkle, we're going to need to wrinkle the paper, which means form is immediately going to be a huge factor for that. Now, considering that this is meant to be a sticker, this means that anything drawn on the sticker has to conform to however the form bends. That means if I go ahead and draw a straight line. Wow, that is not straight, but, <laughs> but we'll settle for it. Then that means that that straight line has to go ahead and follow however the actual sticker bends, right? You can see how that warps with the actual sticker itself. So this is going to be the kind of prime concept that we follow here because as we wrinkle the paper we have to wrinkle the outline of the piece itself and we do this in a bunch of different areas in order to really sell the convincing look for that but on top of that we can take this a lot of steps further you see if we bend something and let's say for example it's pointed in this direction you can see that the light source is hitting one side over here lighting the actual ink itself while the other side is in shadow and as a result this ink is a little bit darker we can actually do this effect pretty easily with spray paint with the transparent cans and it's as simple as going ahead and highlighting the side that is receiving light and then adding a little bit of shadow on the other side. Now, if we go ahead and we start adding some creases to this by folding the paper, then suddenly we can see these sharp defined areas where you not only have a defined shadow, but you also have a defined light source. Doing that is once again, very easy. All we have to do is just not blend when we go ahead and introduce these highlights and these shadows. This will give us the harder edge that we're looking for, but we can take this even further. I shouldn't have thrown that sticker. I need to, I actually need that. You see, the more you 
you go ahead and bend a sticker, the more the sticker begins to break apart at that seam, which then creates a little space of white, if you will, where you can see that the ink is no longer as present in that area. It begins to break apart. So in order to achieve that illusion, we're going to take the actual transparent can and we're going to spray it very definitively in that area in order to show that the ink is beginning to lift. Now keep in mind, I keep saying ink, but really it's whatever is on the sticker itself. No matter what it is you're drawing, those areas that are getting like severely crinkled are going to lose whatever paint you've applied. So if that happens to be your fill-in color, your outline, as well as your 3D, then it'll be all of those things that you end up putting that white line over in order to show the definitive crinkle and the deterioration of the paint in that area. So all we have to do for this is go ahead and take the actual transparent paint and really bunch it up in that area in order to make it look like whatever paint is in that location of the crinkle is actually fading away. And that goes a long way to sell this illusion. Now if you really wanted to take this a lot further, you would also apply lighting to the general sticker itself, which I didn't do in this image. We didn't take things that far and that's perfectly okay. This still sells the illusion just fine. So let's see how I did. Let's see how the effect came out. Let me know what you guys think about it in the comments down below. And let me also say, I I've seen your guys' congratulations for the 100,000 and really it's it's me who kind of needs to thank you guys, honestly. After spending 12 years on the site, I realized this is not something that, you know, I do alone. This is, and I, and I know a lot of YouTubers probably say this type of thing, but in all honesty, this is not something that's possible for me to do alone. Thank you guys very much. I really do appreciate it. On that note, dudes, if you want to learn more about graffiti, check out the best how to do graffiti playlist right up here, along with the many books I've published in the description down below. And for the occasion, use the coupon code on screen in order to get a discount on the bundle. So if you've ever wanted to pick up the bundle of books and you haven't yet, then now's definitely the time to do it. And if you want more graffiti content, check out the video on the bottom, and I'll catch you guys back here next week.